Hey guys, it's Amanda, Creative Gardener. Welcome, welcome to the garden. So I wanted to share with you um, the cassava and I've, I've uh, harvested some of the cassava. So it's been about eight months since the I first planted the cassava sticks and you can see um, this one in front of me. I've got this one, there was two in that space there and then I have there's two here and then I've got some others dotted around the garden but this is the main space that I normally plant the cassava and it's been I think it's probably been I'm just gonna get out of the direct sun so you can get a better view it's it's been about um, Yeah, as I say, it's been about, I've just lost my train of thought there, but it's been about eight months and I've managed to harvest some and um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I planted cassava, uh, this is be the third lot and what I realise is I need another spot to plant them, but when I did plant them in a different spot and I'll share that with you and come back. Here, let's just go over to the other spot, which is over here. Just a short walk. So this was one of the first spots over here that I had started to plant um, anything. And it was also the experimental side, but it was the most richest. And I'm always putting things down and it's quite shaded here as well um, because of the mahogany tree and then I've got a clemmer cherry tree that I have to cut back every now and again but you can see here I've got one here um, growing but it's not yet ready and the way that you can tell that they're ready is by it flowering so when it flowers that signifies that it's ready but this one's growing tall but we're not getting anything and this one here has been in the ground literally for seven eight months and nothing's happening and there was another one along here but i think it's you know been it's long gone now no it's this one here look how terrible that looks so this this side i'm reasoning isn't really a spot for cassava and I don't want them to be here I want them actually to be in the middle because um, yeah as I say this is a spot that if I get any new plants I'll put them in um, I'll, I'll leave them over this side just like I've got some deep red pomegranates growing in that pot over there so just acclimatizing them to the garden and then to the different spots so I'd rather not put them over here. So what I'm going to have to do is spend a bit of time neutralizing, nourishing this side. So the cassava that I've harvested already, I will show you at the end, um, has, has been so tasty. It's been really good. Um, it's been nice just boiled and I dust a little bit of turmeric or um, I've got a curry powder blend and it's just been absolutely beautiful we go back round but it's not producing they're not producing as many um, as, as many cassava as you would expect after seven eight months but these ones are ready to come out they've all flowered and they're trying to regrow, um, have some new growth up there. When we had the ash from the volcano, everything was covered and they really did look a sorry sight. But as I say, you know, we've got some new growth coming. Anyway, so when you do harvest the cassava, you need to leave it for a day or two but no longer I would no longer leave it I wouldn't leave it longer than two days because I've not um, put any 
chemicals in the soil you find that they start to go black after a while and they become inedible so one of the reasons why I've left them in the ground I'll probably be picking and um, pulling up one of them and then using that and then waiting to see um, when to use the other. The other thing you can do is you can pull them up of the ground, peel them and you can freeze them but they taste so much better when they're fresh. But this is what they finally look like and the ones that I've cut, because it's rained I'm lucky that I can probably still use some of those but what I'm going to do next time because I first started out with um, when I first grew the cassava there was like 30 <laughs> cassava plants but I normally take this section I cut it and then I plant that in the ground and I've had I have taken these sections um, so here right now I'll have three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen that will be this one you can probably get at least five or six out of them and then I compost the rest but it's nice to see plants growing anywhere so sometimes I will just pop them into places that you're not actually really expecting growth and I do have one growing along here somewhere I think it's down here and this is a slope that you just really want cover let me uh, let me find it and show you right here it is this little spindly thing here I'd put it in the ground it's just like I know you're not going to grow cassava um, I'll just give you a chance to grow and it's just good to have green things in here but um but yeah this is the cassava plant um to cook it as I say you boil it you can bake it you can roast it you can mash it you can just have it like potato but you have to cook it uh, because it's poisonous otherwise um, what else you can ferment it um, you can make cassava flour so many things and it is a really tasty um, it is really tasty root vegetable ground provision I would call it but yes that's cassava and um, if you've got any questions any additional questions do let me know I'm not sure whether there are different varieties there probably is different varieties of cassava um, but as I say this year the ones I've picked so far have been very delicious my son even made these cassava balls he um, mashed them up dusted them with rice flour and seasonings and then lightly fried them well fried them in an air fryer and um, he said they were delicious so I'm gonna get him to make <laughs> make some but yes if you have got the space and you can grow it it's definitely well worth growing and a really useful um, root vegetable to your diet as well okay so that's me for now you take care and I will see you soon